Okay, we're going to do things. But most of the time, we just have to go to the Now, we have all seen numerical integration. It's called Riemann sum. Left Riemann sums, right Riemann sums. Anybody have the midpoint rule? Yes, Nina, you have the midpoint rule in your calculus one class. You did. So let me go over those three rules. The left Riemann rule, the right Riemann rule, and the midpoint rule. The idea is you're going to have a function. And you want to find the area between A and B. Now, exactly. Provided you had an antiderivative. Now, sometimes, more often than not, you will not be able to find an antiderivative. So, for example, let's give a particular example in our hands. Here's a nice nonlinear function. And let's go from 1 to Exactly would be ideal. But the only problem is at this stage in the game we don't know, not know how to find the antiderivative without an x. What function differentiates to have an x? Not 1 over x. 1 over x differentiates to negative 1 over x squared. So what you do is you break this up into partitions and you use some rectangles. Use the function to get the height. So you break it up into any. The thickness is the same. You take your B, you subtract your A, and divide it into N pieces. And then you find the height here using the function. This would be x1, this would be x2, this would be x3, this would be x4, this would be x5, this would be x0. Now you can, let's break this up into six and two. Approximate these each of those areas using rectangles. So let me use the right side. These would be the right Riemann sums. You are using the height of the rectangle in each partition. Each, in each partition, you need a height that measures. I need a measure of the height there. Now there are many things you can do. Many, 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 many things. One thing you could do is say, well, that would be an approximation of the height in that rectangle. Likewise, in this partition here, 
you know, a lot of thicknesses are changing. An approximation of the height of that rectangle will just simply take that y value. The problem you, you must be aware of is what is xi? The way I do it is I count. I count by delta x. If you know how to count, you will not make a mistake. <coughs> so if I was doing a right Riemann sum approximation here, I would say take your delta x. What's your delta x? F of? Two 
because it's so safe. LN, one and a half, plus LN2, plus LN2 and a half, plus LN3, plus LN3 and a half, plus LN4, And you want to use your calculator. And you can with that. Now you could certainly partition it and say, well, why Dr. J are you taking the height there? Because Dr. J, you're going to overshoot. You're going to overshoot. Say, well, why don't you look at each partition and take the height from the left? Well, this is called the right wing on something. You could say, take the area from the left. This would be called the little right wing on something. You could say, go to each partition. And Take the height from the left as a measure of approximately how high the function is on that end. Same thing. 